Hi, I'm Danvers, the Hoof Health Consultant for SmartPak, and today we're going to talk briefly about overall hoof assessment and some of the things that you'll look for to determine if your horse's hoof is healthy or not. This is obviously a cursory examination. There are a lot of detailed aspects, so we're going to hit the high points. One of the first things you want to do is to look at the horn. And you can see on this model where we have half trimmed, half untrimmed, and you can see this huge distortion and flare uh, out here. And that's not a good sign. That's a sign that this horse has uh, not gotten maintenance as regularly as he probably should have. Um, if he had been maintained regularly, you'd have a much tighter, truer hoof wall that matched up fairly closely to the origin of growth and, and the coronary band. So this side's trimmed, neat, tidy, reasonably well balanced. This side is broken as if he's uh, pulled a shoe off. There's still a clinch in here. That shoe probably pulled because it should have been pulled by uh, by his hoof care provider. One of the things that you want to look for also is your growth lines. You can see the growth line here and he's growing just a slight more heel than he is toe. And uh, they're not as regular as they should be, but they're not horribly distorted. Uh, you can see that there is a bit of an irregularity in the growth rate from this line if you track it around to the toe. He's growing a little bit more heel than he is to. So patience is a key element in hoof care. This is old. It, it takes time to regrow and replenish. So if I start a supplement program or an exercise program, I'm going to see it in stages as this hoof wall comes down. And we have to wait, be patient, allow this hoof to regenerate. It's, uh, we're not going to recover the old horn. We can dress it, we can manage it, we're not gonna recover it. If we feed through, work on supplements, do our nutrition program properly, do our activity and exercise programs properly, we're gonna regenerate with new growth that is going to come down and be tidy and nice. So on a basic visual inspection, you'll notice things like the the growth ring, like the new hoof wall coming down. You'll also notice things like these little striations here, superficial checking and cracking. They're environment related and uh, that will vary radically from one season to another. It'll, uh, but the more you can regulate moisture, the more that, that you'll see those diminish. And at certain times of the year, they're just gonna be there and uh, visual inspection from the bottom is similar. You want to see a good, healthy, prominent frog. You want to see some exfoliating sole. Uh, that sole is, is like our skin. It's going to naturally exfoliate and shed. You don't want it to slough out all at once, and you want some to be there. Um, chipping and flaking is, is normal. Um, Ideally, you don't have too much of a trap area that will trap rocks and, and debris in here. So cleaning that out regularly is good. So I hope this helps. Uh, again, it's an overview. You'll want to stay with us for more specific information about hoof care from SmartPak.